Yeah, the weather's much worse in Florida, exactly. <laughs> What's worse though, the hurricane or some of the weather reports on the hurricane? I've, I've watched some of them and they are absolutely just, oh my god. They're terrible. Terrible they are. The presenters have no idea what they're talking about. And they do it in such a cheesy way. And they're really patronising as well. Really, like they can be really patronising. Mr. Ashley Armstrong, thank you for subbing. Can we give Mr. Ashley Armstrong a lovely nutty welcome, guys? Thank you for your support. Welcome to the house. Mr. Anders, 15 months. Thanks for the great content. You're welcome. <laughs> watching some of the um, uh, some of the live webcams they have over in the States last night unbelievable, like the wind and the rain your sister's home in Fort Myers Beach storm surge estimate is 20 to 15 foot deep oh my god <laughs> Is that going to be is that going to be covered by insurance, or is that going to be um, are the insurers going to invoke like an act of God clause on that one and just go, nope, we are not forking out for any of that. Is it total devastation with or without insurance? Andy two two five, thank you for nineteen months. Tricks by Mr. Squirrel. Low. 20 to 15 feet, no flood insurance because coastal floodplain. Oh my god. So basically, it's a case of if you buy a house here, you accept the risk that you might lose it all. And then one day, the hurricane shows up and you actually lose it all. How do you rebuild your life from that? I mean, seriously, you, you, you're pretty much losing everything right there, aren't you? Flood insurance is through the federal government, Jim. If you have flood insurance. Wait, so does the government basically pay up? Or what? Or does your home insurance pay up? How, how does it work? Hammock on Rye, 29 months down. Looking forward to the next 29. Thank you, Hammock. Oh my god, this guy's left me no room. Is this barrier gonna come back down on me again? Oh, it moved! I don't trust barriers anymore now. It's exactly why you're going through here over Houston the past week. Insurance doesn't help when there's no flood insurance available. Okay, so does the does the government basically um, pay out then? Yeah, but true insurium, true insurium. What they're saying is you can't get flood insurance. That's what they're saying. The insurers look at it and go, "You're in a floodplain in a known." Like hurricane danger zone, we are not insuring you. That's what it sounds like. I don't know, Captain Flint, it makes no sense. Oh 
home insurance covers the wind, the federal insurance pays if you bought it. Same for Germany. If you live next to a river, there's a likelihood you won't get any flood insurance. Yeah, I mean, but it's the same in England. If you live down in um, in Malden, that's on a floodplain. Homeowners covers house for anything other than flooding. That would be covered by not flooding. Wait, so if your house got hit by lightning, that's covered. But if you get flooded, it's not. Your friend in Texas has got uh, separate flood insurance from regular home insurance. Right, so you can get flood insurance then, but not via home insurance. You have to get it separately. Yeah, exactly. Just go and live on a hill. <laughs> it's the best bet. So if your house gets destroyed by the wind, they'll pay out. If your house gets destroyed by the sea rising, you won't get a payout. Seems far. Why well, build a floodplain? Because people want to be near the beach. You know, that, that sea view. Okay, so the, the federal government will sell you flood insurance. Gotcha. But the ins the private insurance companies won't go near it. Interesting. <laughs> the beach is rubbish in my opinion. I like mountains. Yeah, but if you're a surfer or something like that, you know, the beach is a great place to live. Not really Dark Delta. You lived at the beach for 18 years and went surfing twice. <laughs> yeah, but how often did you enjoy, you know, walks down the seafront or the sea breeze or anything, you know? Living next to the sea, you know, is nice. But obviously not when it's going to just rise up and take you home. ETA 4.22. Expected 4.45. Next rest stop in three and a half hours, two hours remaining on the job. So, a house for sale, and the insurance was included with the house. <laughs> wow, how does that work? a 30 day waiting period from date of purchase until your policy goes into effect well yes of course there is otherwise the moment the hurricane spawns you're gonna have a whole load of people just going yes i'd like some insurance please <laughs> oh really and why is that then is it because the hurricane's just spawning off the coast of florida you can't blame him for that one funny how people want insurance all of a sudden when there's a risk
chicken doesn't spawn. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it is it given birth to? How, how does it work then? I thought they developed, like they spawn as winds start to spiral and it gathers and heats up and picks up water and all that kind of stuff. What word, what word can we use then if it doesn't spawn? What, what does it do? Does it just appear? Uh, generally speaking, you need to get your, you need to get, if you have a home office, you, you normally get separate home office insurance. Normally, that's what you do. Because most home insurance doesn't cover you for any kind of business purposes. driving a Renault dude is this a Renault is that a Renault badge right there is that a Renault no look how narrow this road is it's ridiculous The Roru, thank you for the host. Chinese takeaway one grab on a Sunday night. Is that a thing? See, I always I always thought takeaways were like a Friday night or a Saturday night. You know? The Friday night end of the week treat or Saturday night because you know you you're chilling out, blah blah blah. Sunday night? Is that a thing? I know, right, Dark Delta? When I drive a Scania, nobody bats an eye. You drive a Renault, people are like, what? <laughs> Sunday night is nachos night. Nachos are okay. I had, had nachos on Friday night, I think. Don't forget Thursday night kebab takeaway. Thank you, DJ. The missus and I get a Chinese on a Sunday, Jim. Interesting. I think my um, my local Chinese, I'm sure, used to close on a Monday. I think that was its day off because it. I think they realised that nobody wanted a takeaway on Monday. <laughs> Just nobody. So they worked oh, all the way yeah. through the weekend and then just had Monday off. Uh, Benjamin Stubbs, the worst time I ever experienced was when my dad was still in the Air Force and we were stationed in uh, Okinawa in Japan, both typhoons, um, with the typhoons there, being on the roof with 120 mile an hour wind. Oh my god. Yeah, I can imagine that's pretty scary. Stop being interesting, I'm trying to play Factorio. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, man maze you see, that's the problem I have, like, people are evacuating, people are evacuating because there's a very, very powerful hurricane there, yeah? Like, one of the most powerful. And what do the reporters do? They go there and go, I'm really having trouble standing up in this hurricane, and you're like, why are you even there? Like, we've got webcams, yeah? We've got cameras, static cameras installed. We can all see it via the IP camera. Why do you feel the need to fly out, stand there in a raincoat, and basically tell us that it's really strong and very windy? We don't need that. It's just something very suicidal about these reporters. It's like they want a medal for it or something. I don't know. I don't get it. 
Everybody else is going that way, and they're going that way. <laughs> With a camera and a sound man. Does anyone notice something here, Mandelsoft? Starry, starry night? Paint your palette blue and grey? I don't know. I don't think they're doing it for extra money. I don't think they get paid more. I think they're basically doing it to be noticed. I think they're putting their own, their own lives at risk because you guys need to know the news. It's like some inherent... kind of... Um, like they I don't know, they just kind of think they're doing it for a very good reason. There's no frame drops in Barcelona. It feels a bit sluggish, if I'm honest. It's not frame dropping, but... The thing is, it never frame drops outside. It's only ever inside. Yeah, the war correspondence. They, they're properly crazy, they are. And, and they get awards for it as well. You know, reporting on the front line. Let's give this guy an award. You should be telling him off. <laughs> not, not giving an award. Matt C, thank you for your sub. Welcome to the house, Matt C. You can be given a nutty welcome, guys. Right, we're going this way. Cleave TV, thank you for the host. <sighs> Mandelsoft, do you think, like, do you think you should go in there and just take out objects or something? Just to get some frames back, maybe? I think the problem is, is like far too many containers and cars and all kinds of stuff. It looks amazing, but if it can't draw it, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely struggling. Right, Lord Dawes made an appearance. Let me just drop this thing off. End up replacing as well as assets. Uh, Northern Trucker. That was my question. All the people that live there are leaving and the news decides to send a reporter and go stand in the middle of this. Exactly. Uh-oh. Why has Mrs. Squirrel got Doyle and a towel? That doesn't bode well. Yeah, wet doll. Yay! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. How do we get into this place? Wait, where's the actual entrance? Don't tell me that's it. Okay. Right, that's going to take more than a minute, so let's just get Doyle. Uh... 
Bonk. That one. Right, Donnie. Aye, aye, aye. Just give me a towel. Put it on my knee, and then he can climb up. Alright, come on, wet dog. Ah. Eh. There he is. Alex, reporters are known for, not known for their intelligence, lol. Right, Johnny. You want to say hi to everybody? There we go. And I've got his towel. He's a bit of a damp doggy again. Hey, hey. Give everybody a hug. If you are new to the channel, you'll notice the Doyle emoticon. This is Doyle. And this is the third hand. And these are schmackos. Huh? There you go. And Doyle likes schmackos. Hey, Joshua Gaming. Third hand hype. Dolly being very quiet eating lately. What's going on? A little third hand. <laughs> Let the schmacking begin. How old is he? Uh, seven? Yeah. He's seven now. Seven and a bit. Ay, 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 ay. Big footy. Behind every good man is a woman rolling her eyes. Hello, Mrs. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> I like that big footy. Ay, 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 ay. No, not yet. ATP. Martin6024. Hello, doll. Hello, Mrs. Squirrel. Is the third hand certified? <laughs> yeah. Let's just say yes and move on. <laughs> hey, Motley. He's a well-mannered dog today. He is, actually. Has he been out on a walk or something? Not yet. Not yet. Why has he been, like, so calm? This is weird. What's wrong with you, Donald? You just woke up. You scruff. Oh my god. Uh yeah, we're in Barcelona, Nathan. That's where we are. I don't know, Doyle. Too calm, man. That's wrong. Too chilled. Last piece. Oh. Hmm? It's the last piece. We have a refusal. <gasps> There's something not right here. What's going on? Door refusing schmackers from third hand. What is going on, Doyle? Right. Let me do the, uh... Let me do the P.O. box. He's looking a little damp. Okay, first up is a letter. Let's try the letter, see what this is about. Doyle doesn't get excited for letters. What the heck? Um, right, it's a letter from Oscar Wing 2001. Dear Squirrel, I've been watching your streams and various videos for the past year now, and I've particularly enjoyed watching you uh, Sunday Night Trucking, the amazing summer car, my summer car, which is my favourite. Please find and close my donation that you can put towards any new equipment that you may require in the future to improve your streams and videos. Keep up the amazing work. Oscar Wing, and he sent in a crisp English tenor. <laughs> Aww. Thank you very much, Oscar Wing. I hope you're here. Thank you very much. That's much appreciated. We can get some loving chat for Oscar Wing. Thank you for that. Happy anniversary, Nata. Thank you, Oscar. Right. Let's go for uh, this one, which is a packet. I hope Oscar's in chat. I think he was earlier. Now, Doyle, Doyle's getting more interested at this point. Doyle's sniffing around now. Because this, this is not a letter. He knows he doesn't get things from letters, but this... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> He's jumping up at me already. What have we got in here? Um, is it an ear? Oh, it's a lamb chop. It looks like an ear. I don't know who it's from. There's no, um... All your spidey senses are right, bro. It's got a customs declaration. Country of origin, China. Uh, two squirrel. There's no actual letter. I don't, I don't know who sent it. <laughs> it's not a pork chop, is it? Bacon. It's definitely an ear. There you go. He's gone for that. Whoever sent that in, thank you very much. Did it cost a packet? Doll's quietly killing that now. And then finally, we have a little box. Which I shall now open. <laughs> this is without doubt right so that this is the box right do you want to know what was in the box it's a potato that says hi paul <laughs> somebody literally sent a potato to the p.o box that says hi paul in it Hey. <laughs> Nothing for you, pal. It's just a potato. It's of absolutely no interest to you. <laughs> so, um, thanks for that. <laughs> Ever since. <It's> tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, that's tomorrow. We're having that tomorrow with, with, with some tuna. I have no idea who sent it. I don't know if it's Wyland or not. I'm surprised it got to the PO box considering it's like potato. 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 Eh? That's your lot, Doyle. That's your lot, pal. Well, thank you very much, Oscar. Thank you for the uh, pork chop thing and thank you for the potato. Is he broke a squeaker already? Oh my god, Doyle. He's broke a squeaker on it. I can't believe it. What is he like? Oh, it's a yeah, potato. Yeah. Oh. Uh. oh, he's fi Mrs. Squirrel's fixed it. <laughs> that pork chop toy was from me, says Jules. Oh, right, Jules sent oh, that. Yay. <laughs> Thank you, Jules. Mrs. Squirrel just threw it outside and Doll's run out now. Thank you, Jules. Let's figure out how the heck we're going to park here. Right. 
Come on, track IR, turn around, there we go. What are we doing? Reversing in. Because they want it going in one particular way. Come on, turn around, track IR. Why are you being like this? Scumbag. Yo, what, you want to F9 park it, what, um, Mandelsoft? Oh, you could do. How much is track hour? I don't know the current price, but you can get a discount if you use my code. We are now level 73 and almost a half. For that, we've got an excellent delivery, 40,000 euros and 1,000 XP. Yay! And I think I need to go and park somewhere, because I think my guy wants to rest. There's a whole lot of rest points around here. That was a weird drop off that one. Yeah, I don't know if there's any fuel points here. We're on nearly half a tank, so we're good at the moment. Aye, 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 aye. Jules, how is the pig that I sent him last week going? Not seen it for a while, Jules, that's not a good sign. Sky boxes. Uh, Oscar, thank you so much, sir. Some nice skylines, I like it. Yeah, the FPS is doing alright now. I did I did not forget the giveaway ATP. I didn't want to do it at this point. See the roadworks are still going on in Barcelona. Uh, Thu, seven months enjoying my vacation while playing Destiny Two all week. Amazing game. GG, sir. Did you plan your week off to coincide with Destiny Two, or did it just happen that way? Oh my god! I wish my guy would stop yawning. It's just annoying me. Uh, no super soaps. I don't. I don't use uh, Sisal's trailer pack with Jazzy Cat trailers at the same time. Like I either have one pack or the other. Oh my god. 
Your wife says a beautiful voice, Yorkshire. <laughs> Tell your wife I said thank you. <laughs> Mechanic should be here. You missed my summer car already, Ryan. Dude, I played it all Friday night. And I played it like half of Saturday. And last week I played it all Friday night and all of Saturday. There are other games apart from my summer car. And I put a video up. So for quick service. Cheeky service, and I think I'll, I'll change colour of the paint. Let's go with something else. Aye, 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 aye. Let's be done red. Let's go with more of a blue. Change that as well. Change that as well. Uh, who's that? Willstar. I sent the potato. <laughs> Thanks for the potato, Willstar. Not sure what you're expecting me to do with it, though, to be honest. <laughs> Sleep before I get fined. There we go. That's not a bad little colour. Is it me or this daylight colour is really kind of blue and bright? That is so different. Do you not think the lighting is completely different? Plant the potato like my diamond. I'm not stuck on Mars, you know. I can walk inside and get nachos. That's quite cool. Yeah, I know it's different. I can tell. I can tell that the lighting is more like day blue. That makes sense. Like the temperature of the light is way higher. Take care because you have a because of a pet potato called Paul. See what we can get out of here. A double trailer of rice, which will take us up to iron. We can get turbine blades that go back into friends. Diesel. Pork. An Amtrak. Lol. Containers. Acid. Military boat. That goes back to Marseille. That's no good. There's a lot of jobs coming out of here. Barrels. Um... Go for the new Spanish cities. Oh, what, these ones? I don't know if there's a road route through there or not. I'll just take this one. Say that or sulfuric acid. 
Double trailer rice. Yeah, I was thinking that. Maybe we'll try and reconfigure the trailer as well. Uh, catnip. Catnip ETS. Thank you for subbing. Welcome to Nails. Can we give catnip a nutty welcome, guys? Thank you very much for your support. We'll have a look if we can reroute. It might make us late doing it, but meh. It could be more interesting to do that. Right, you'll see the trailer in a sec. We've gone for the double rice. Presume we pick it up from over the road though. Double trailer, double sub. Uh, Linky Bar. Zero. Ugh. Can we get a nutty welcome for Linky Bar, guys? Wait, that could be there, actually. Thank you for your support, Linky Bar. Welcome to the house. Here's this one. Upstairs. Can I have a refill on that? I forgot to drink it. Huh? Tea. It's next to the bed. Just taking door out. Where is walkies? All right, let's configure that. Let's have a look what we can do. School logistics, Paulo Duart, transporters. Schwarzmuller singles. Um, like that. Uh, good night, Andy Royd. Have a good week. Oh, I like this lighting, you know. Triple sub hype. Break on. Trailer connected. Who's that? Gigabyte! Thank you for subbing, Gigabyte. Welcome to the house. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you for giving Gigabyte a nutty welcome, guys. Let's have a look where we're going. And try and factor in a refuel. Well, there's a place down here we could refuel, but I'm thinking let's go for a highway refuel. Now, we've been through here before by the look of it. There's actually many options we could take. We can go that way. Not done that before. That's going to take us up that bit. That's going to be fun. Oh my god. Okay, so let's have a quick look. So without the rerouting, trip distance 581, nine and a half hours. Okay, with the rerouting, 577, nine hours 20. So it's actually not much between it if we do that. Quad sub. Uh, who was that? Existence. Wow, quad sub hype. Thank you, thank you very much for your support, guys. Welcome to the net house. Thank you for the lovely nutty welcome as well. Thank you, Existent. Is that like a play on the word existent, by the way? Yeah, it's shorter, but it's not as quick because it's going to be taking us up some nasty roads, you know? It's a bit like, you know, do you go on the motorway, which is longer, or do you go down that nasty B road, which is shorter, but going to take you more time? It's a bit like that. I 
I didn't help myself by picking that um, reflective sun visor. That only helps to kill frames. <laughs> Was that a five in a row? Mr. Hin Mr. Hayden? Mr. Hayden? How did I say that? Wow. Thank you so much for the support. Welcome. Welcome to the house, Mr. Hayden. Not sure how to pronounce that name, but I appreciate the support. Penta sub. <laughs> Can the light in though? Where's he going? Oh, I see come back. What are we driving today? Sisu. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know how that bus missed me. I agree, the lighting does look more realistic. Particularly for a summer. For a summer's day in Barcelona. I think what we'll do... Remind me at the end of this delivery, guys. Remind me to switch in the September mod, which will move the date from June to September to see what it looks like. Wait, why is there a giveaway sign here? Oh, that. Giveaway to a lane merge. been playing on three displays. Yeah, it's quite fun on three displays. Thanks. Is there a way to see when you first viewed a channel or stream? Not that I know of. There's a mod in the Steam Workshop that gets updated every week to change the day of the year. Mandelsoft, does it not seem weird to you that you need a mod to do that? Like, why can't they just put a setting in the game in one of the configuration screens? Like, what... You know, like, options like what day of... what day and, and month you want it to be, and options like do you want it to just follow the current time? Just things like that. Why does it need to be a mod? It's weird. Or even if you had scripting, you could do it with a script dead easily. It's very strange. No, I, I doubt it'd be difficult to do at all. I mean, I can understand it only taking effect, perhaps... I don't know. When you start the game, maybe? If, if that's the reason? Uh-oh. Why do I suddenly get the feeling that I'm in the completely wrong lane? Nope. I think we're good. You like to see wet surfaces affecting the pulling trails on steep hills and on bridges. Yeah, but you see, that's a lot of work, isn't it? That's that's basically a physics change right there. That's more work. All we're, all's we're talking about here is lifting something which is already in the game but can only be done by a mod into the interface. That's just not hard. Nah, Captain Flint, honestly, there's no way that's difficult.
First time watching the stream, Mrs. Smith, welcome. Now, if I remember, there was a fuel station. Yep, down the road. Oh boy. See on the map that that road turning off wasn't shown on the mini map because it was a dead road. Uh, Ico TM, thank you for the resume. And Joe Gladstone, can we give Joe Gladstone a lovely nutty welcome? Thank you for subbing, Joe. Welcome to the house. Tight ten month height from Ico. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for the support. Always appreciated. Thank you very much. That was close, Simon. I'm not going to lie. Okay, fuel station is here. MW Wheelman. Is that another one? One sec. Wowzers. MW, thank you for your support as well. Crikey. That's like seven in the last five, ten minutes. MW, thank you for your support, sir. That is so appreciated. Can we give MW a nutty welcome, guys? Just something we do in the nut house when people sub. It's always a nice warm welcome. For any of you that have subbed, remember getting a nutty welcome. I'm sure you remember that feeling. It's always nice. Ting. Oh, look at that. You see on the minimap there, Manresa. Do you guys remember Manresa? This is, basically, do you remember when I went to uh, Virtual Fly? So I was, I flew into Barcelona and I stayed here. But we, uh, Virtual Fly is about here somewhere. And we went out to lunch in Manresa. So Virtual Fly was around here and we sort of flew, flew around this area in the Cessna 172. On, on the YouTube videos. And raises where we um, virtual fly are. Let me grab my cup of Yorkshire tea. Let's have a proper brew. Finish. It's a finish truck. How much rubbish has left here? Wait, how do you get out of here? What the heck? <laughs> this is a pretty weird way of getting out, I've got to admit. Who designed this? That's pretty weird. Um, thank you, Otter Boy. You join a nice IPA, even though I I got a cold. What? As in a beer? <laughs> this vehicle's going in there and disappearing. Yeah, that sounds like there's an issue though. 